Hey there, my name is Alex. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about all the movies and TV shows that are coming out in December that feature or have queer ladies in them. So we're going to go in date order. So let's start off with December 4th. So we've got two movies dropping December 4th. The first one is Ammonite. I don't want to go back to the life I had before you. What about my life? So this is, um, it's actually been out in theatres for a little while, I believe, in the US uh, since November in select theatres. Um, but it's dropping on demand December 4th. So the film stars Saoirse Ronan and Kate Winslet. I am excited but also wary for this one so it's definitely like another period film we get a lot of like period lesbian films which it is what it is but i also sort of see this in line with disobedience in the way that like i was super excited for disobedience because it had rachel wise and rachel mcadams in it you know amazing actresses who i love and wanted to see play a couple right so i was excited for the movie purely for that reason i'm kind of in the same boat as this kate winslet saoirse ronan absolutely adore them and would love to see them play a couple but i don't know how the actual movie's gonna play out i don't know but either way i'm keen to watch it december 4th the second movie that is dropping on demand on december 4th is i hate new years you're my best friend and if you want to spend New Year's Eve running all over God's green earth, searching for your ex, then that's what I'll do too if it means I get to spend time with you. I'm actually pretty excited for this movie because uh, the people behind it also were behind the movie Season of Love, which dropped last holiday season last year. Um, and I really enjoyed that movie. It was cheesy. It was exactly what I wanted in a holiday movie, right? Um, there was a couple little things that I talked about in my previous review, but I'm excited that this is gonna be a nice cheesy holiday movie. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so this looks like to be a um, sort of friends to lovers potential plot. Um, it's got that sort of like, um, they've been BFFs forever, one's planning on confessing the feelings. Um, so I'm very curious to see how this plays out. I will have links to the um, websites for both uh, I Hate New Year's and Ammonite so you guys can see where you can find them on demand when they do drop on December 4th. Jumping over to December 6th, we've got Euphoria. It was your idea. I know, I know it was my idea, but I just, I don't think it's a good idea anymore. Maybe I deserve it. Rue. Why'd you call me? So, Euphoria isn't officially back December 5th, but they've got two standalone episodes dropping before season two drops. And the first standalone episode is dropping December 6th. So it's set up like premise part one, um, Rue. So I'm assuming part two is going to be Jules, maybe? Um, but we will see. Obviously, I'm super excited for uh, this. I, the standalone episode, I don't care. Like, I just love Euphoria, so I'm excited to see more. Though I'm sure it's gonna, like, hit me right in the feels. But either way, I'm excited. It's gonna be dropping on HBO Max December 6th. Jumping over to December 11th, we have another movie, The Prom. It's dropping on Netflix and I believe some uh, select theatres. Hello, interweb. My name is Emma Nolan and I'm 17. You might have heard about the prom in Indiana. I just want to go to prom like any other kid. All opposed. I know we all have stories to tell and here's mine. Now the prom is a movie based on a musical. Um, I haven't actually dived too much into the Broadway sort of show at all. Um, I don't really know too much about it. I know it's queer. That's all I know. I have seen the trailer for the movie prom and it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous, but either way, I'm very excited for the sort of main story of it, which is two girls just wanting to go to prom together. Um, and there's sort of issues around that, um, but it's, a, you know, about them getting to go to prom. So I'm very excited to see that. That's dropping on Netflix December 11th. Also dropping December 11th is The Wilds. This is a TV show that's dropping on Amazon Prime. Hey, hey, 
we are stuck here. It's the 21st century, okay? They will find us. The trailer that I saw kind of gives me lost vibes. We've got sort of a bunch of girls that are stranded on an island, um, and I guess how they survive is the show, maybe? <laughs> We do know there is a um, a queer character in the sort of main cast. I don't know how much sort of story she's going to have. I don't know if she's going to have sort of a uh, regular love interest in the series, but time will tell. So I'm very curious about this show. I, I don't really have any feelings either way at this point. I'm just curious to see what comes of that. So that's dropping December 11th on Amazon Prime. Now, just some other shows that are ongoing um, that you can check out in December. One is Station 19, which airs on the channel ABC. I'm really loving Station 19. I, uh, I love uh, Karina and um, Maya. They're so cute together. Um, if you guys don't know, Station 19 is a spin-off from Grey's Anatomy. It follows firefighters as opposed to doctors. Corinna is actually a doctor on Grey's Anatomy that has become a series regular on Station 19 since developing this relationship with Maya last season. Maya is like the captain of Station 19 at this point. Um, so I'm very excited to see their story develop this season. So yeah, that's airing this month. You guys can check that out on ABC. Also ongoing is Holly Oaks, which is airing on Channel 4 in the UK. I'm not gonna lie, I've done plenty of videos on Holly Oaks and um, Perry and Juliet's storyline, but they've kind of lost me. Just the whole drug storyline and all that sort of stuff. I, I don't know, they've kind of lost me a little bit. So so I'm personally not watching Hollyoaks at the minute. Um, I'll probably see how they go, you know, once they hit that sort of like New Year's Day sort of climax that they've been building up to all year. We'll see how that goes leading up to that and then after that um, and we'll determine if I actually end up watching again. But I thought I would mention it in case, you know, you hadn't heard of it. <laughs> it's a soap opera. There is a queer storyline playing in it right now. Um, so if you want to check that out, Hollyoaks. For those that are interested, I am currently doing reactions to Station 19. I'm going to be doing reactions to Ammonite and I Hate New Year's. Um, so look out for them. Also going to try and do a reaction to Euphoria. I have noticed previously that I had a lot of issues with copyright with Euphoria. So we'll see how that goes with YouTube. Also planning on doing reactions for The Prom and The Wilds. Um, the Prom I'm a little nervous about just because of all the music I think will get picked up quite easily on YouTube. Um, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go copyright wise. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see how it goes. So if you are interested in watching live reactions of those, hit the subscribe button and check them out when they release. I'm definitely gonna try and get them up as soon as sort of they come out. So that's it so far that I know of for December. If you know of any movies or TV shows that I have missed that star or feature um, uh, queer women in it, let me know in the comment section below. Because I've sort of stopped doing Les Talks, I thought I would pick this up as sort of a monthly thing, sort of talking about upcoming shows and, and movies of the month. Um, I thought this would be sort of a fun, um, maybe replacement for Les Talk, um, because I do like sort of talking about all sorts of stuff that I might not be making videos on, but yeah. But that's my video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I will see you in my next one. Okay, bye.